click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends today we'll learn how to prepare a cost sheet where information about variable and fixed is missing a factory manufactures uniform type of article and has capacity of 10000 units per week the following information shows the different elements of cost for three consecutive weeks three consecutive weeks means three continuous weeks first week second week and third week when the output has changed every week so output is not uniform it is it has changed every week unit produced first week it is 2000 units second week 2800 third week 3700 direct material is given for each week direct labor is given for each week and factory overheads is given for each week with information that it is part variable and part fixed how much is variable and how much is fixed that is not given fixed overheads are going to remain fixed but variable overheads will change as per the units produced so we are required to bifurcate variable and factory variable and fixed factory overheads based on this information the factory has received an order for 5000 units and it desires to make profit 16 to third percentage on selling price find out the price at which each unit that means they are asking information of per unit should be sold this is the information we have let us proceed to do some working notes relating to the current information first we will try to find out direct material per unit unit produced in first week were 2000 and total direct material cost was rupees 12000 so during first week per unit direct material cost is rupees 6 let us calculate for the second week Second week unit produced two thousand eight hundred and material cost is sixteen thousand eight hundred. So during second week also direct material per unit is rupees six. Third week we have produced three thousand seven hundred units at a cost of twenty two thousand two hundred. so during third week also direct material per unit is rupees 6 so it is totally variable cost for 5000 units estimated direct material cost will be it will be rupees 30000 estimated
in first week production was 2000 units and direct labor was rupees 6000 so per unit labor cost during first week was rupees 3 per unit during second week production was 2800 units direct labor was 8400 rupees so during second week also direct labor per unit is rupees 3 third week we have produced 3700 units and direct labor is 11,100. So during third week also, it is rupees 3 per unit. That means direct labor is totally variable cost. For estimated 5000 units direct labor will be 5000 multiplied by 3 that is total rupees 15000 Let us proceed to calculate factory overheads which is partly fixed and partly variable. So we are required to find missing information of fixed factory overheads and variable factory overheads. During first week we have produced 2000 units and factory overheads were 12,500. In second week we have produced 2,800 units and factory overheads has become 16,500. Let us consider the difference. First week we have produced 2,000 units. Second week we have produced 2,800. So there is increase in units 800 units. First week factory overheads was 12,500. In second week it has become 16,500. So how much it has increased? Rupees 4,000. So what is changed over a period of week is not a fixed cost. What is changed is only variable overheads. So we can find out now per unit variable factory overheads change in units 800 change in cost 4000 so per unit Variable factory overheads is rupees 5. Let us verify this for first and second week. During first week, units produce 2000 multiplied by per unit variable cost rupees 5. So 10,000 will be total variable cost. The total factory cost, factory overheads, they have given 12,500. So we can find out fixed factory overheads. Fixed factory overheads is equal to total factory overheads minus variable factory overheads. Total we have 12,500 minus 
वेरिएबल फैक्ट्री ओवर हेड्स टेन थाउजेंड सो फिक्स फैक्ट्री ओवर हेड्स आर टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड दिस वी कैन वेरीफाई विद द सेकेंड वीक During second week, variable factory overheads are rupees fourteen thousand. We can use same formula and we'll find out fixed factory overheads. Total factory overheads sixteen thousand five hundred minus variable factory overheads fourteen thousand. So two thousand five hundred, we got fixed factory overheads. So first week it is two thousand five hundred, and second week also it is two thousand five hundred. So we have calculated fixed and variable factory overheads by bifurcating the figure of total factory overheads given in the question. Now let us proceed to find the estimate cost of five thousand units. For five thousand units, we have calculated direct material cost five thousand per unit six rupees five thousand multiplied by six. It is rupees thirty thousand. Direct labor is also calculated for five thousand units. Five thousand multiplied by three fifteen thousand because Direct labor is variable rupees three per unit. So prime cost we got rupees forty five thousand, and per unit it is rupees nine. so this we are required to add factory overheads factory overheads are partly fixed partly variable we have calculated fixed portion 2500 and variable portion rupees 5 per unit factory overheads fix 2500 variable 5000 units multiplied by 5 25000 total factory overheads 27500 this will be added to prime cost in this question we don't have administration or selling overheads so this cost itself will be considered as total cost to so this we are required to add profit so that we can get estimated sale amount here they have given the information the factory has received order of 5000 unit desires to make profit of 16 to 3 percentage on selling price Sixteen to third, it means sixteen point six 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 six. It can be also expressed like sixteen 
16.666 means one sixth on sales. We have information of total cost. To that, if we we'll add profit, we are going to get the sales. Rate of profit is given on sales. So we are required to convert rate of profit on sales to rate of profit on cost. Rate of profit on sales is one six. To this denominator, we'll deduct one. So it will become. One fifth on cost. That means if one sixth on sales, that means one fifth on cost. To to the total cost, we are required to add one fifth of the cost. That is profit. It comes to eighty-seven thousand. So per unit selling price will be rupees seventeen point forty paise. So here in this question we have learned when total overheads are given without giving bifurcation of variable and fixed cost, we can calculate it based on the output given for the different period. We have to see the difference in output and difference in total cost to find out the bifurcation of variable and fixed cost. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.